so here we go. The continuation of my other tutorials, which is the dry skin, so look for it, and uh, dehydrated skin, look for it. Um, a lot of my subscribers have said to me, Maria, amazing, amazing uh, tutorial, however, not enough visuals. Could you compare, could you put them side by side so we can understand? So this tutorial is specifically about comparison of dehydrated and dry skin. And uh, so for you to kind of understand a little bit more. I am not going to go into detail as those other tutorials, otherwise I'm repeating myself. So please go see the other tutorials and then this will be a supplementation. So let's get started right now. My little chihuahua over there. <laughs> um, her name is Charlie, so she will come and I'll pick her up so you can see her. Oh, um, no, she's gone. <laughs> the, I wanna thank all my subscribers. Um, without you, as I mentioned all the time, I would not be here. So I wanna say you are the soul and the heart of my channel. So I want to thank you so much. And the purpose of this specific tutorial is because you requested it for me to give you a little bit more detailed information. So thank you. For the individuals that do not know me, well, hopefully you will look at my tutorials and you will enjoy it. And you'll say, you know what, I'm going to subscribe. There are many reasons why an individual might have dehydrated skin. However, the dry skin, it is something that it is a skin type. And the dehydrated skin is more of a condition, something that you have done. So if you are born with dry skin, you are going to die with dry skin. However, you can help the dry skin by eating properly, drinking water. And the drinking of water is for both skin types. Now, you may have dry and dehydrated. Wamo bammy, well. <laughs> so you really have to pay really close attention because if you have dry and dehydrated skin, your, age, your skin will age much quicker. And so I do have a lot of tutorials of the things that you can do. But for me, the main focus is eating properly. So diet, diet, and diet. So the first thing I want to uh, introduce is water. And you'll say, oh Maria, why is it cloudy? The reason why it's cloudy is because it's diffused with nutrients. And I have a tutorial. And uh, basically it's this, and in here, I have a bit, two liters of water, room temperature. I have uh, mint tea and I have lemon and cucumber. And all those nutrients are diffused inside of the water because you let it sit for a couple of hours and then you sip it throughout the day. So that's why it's, it's cloudy because in here you have all the vitamins and minerals of those specific ingredients I put in there. So that makes it a little bit more exciting to drink the water because it tastes so good. So I, I drink at least eight big glasses a day, minimum. The pictures I'm gonna show you first are dry and the combination of dry and dehydrated. This first picture here, you can see the flakiness, uh, rash, dry lips. So when I see this skin here, it's a little bit of, of a concern because she's not only dry, she's also dehydrated. And because of the dry lips more than normal, it tells me that she is not drinking enough water, number one, and also that she may have candida. Candida albicans, it is like a fungal inside of your tummy, and a lot of women get it, but also men get it. And you notice different things on the skin. So we need to kind of look at the candida side, because all the surface dehydration 
could be because of her diet, but could also be of the candida. So to deal with the candida, I do have a tutorial on fungal acne. Please look at that one because the diet is very similar to the fungal acne. Basically, you need to eliminate all carbs and milk for the next six weeks approximately. So this picture here that I'm going to show you, she, you can see she's a younger person and just starting uh, of the, the, uh, the dehydration. You can see around the lips. And she has a little bit of cuprose and if she doesn't take care of her skin, slowly she will go into the rosacea. So drinking more water, using good products, and again, products are very essential. I have a particular one, a particular product that I really, really enjoy. It's called the NRF2 True Science. It is not found all over the world. I am so sorry. Hopefully in the future it will. I do have a link below, look at it. So this product here has NRF2 activators in it. And what it does, it penetrates inside the skin and it rejuvenates the skin from within. Okay, let's continue. This individual, she has dry and dehydrated. Uh, the dryness you can see is kind of reddish and the, the dehydrated is all this flakiness. If I have a client like this or individuals like this, I look a little bit closer and I notice here dark circles. And uh, also this individual has dryness and um, rashes and also cracked lips. That is also candida. So this individual will have to start drinking a lot of water and look at her diet. Okay, her pores are very tight and you can see the skin is very, very thin. This one here is dry skin. So an individual says, okay, Marie, if I have dry skin, I can put a lot of creams, a lot of ointments and uh, keep on putting uh, Vaseline and stuff like that. It is not good because if you overdo it on the exterior, what's gonna happen is the skin is going to get lazy. Your, 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 your sebaceous glands gonna get lazy because you're gonna keep on putting stuff on the outside. The skin will say, well, why do I have to? I don't have to. So uh, don't over moisturize your skin. Uh, here we go again. So you can see this, uh, this one here, she is uh, normal to dehydrated. And uh, you can see her lips are very dry, her nose. She has a bit of a rash around her nose. This is a person that has normal skin, but dehydrated and because the lips are so dry. And uh, um, this client also, her gums are really red and that is a giveaway that she does have candida. Have you noticed my little munchkin there? Charlie. Come, sweetie. <laughs> I love her. Charlie is my little long-haired chihuahua. Oh, yes. Hello. Can I say hi? She is 10 years old. And uh, she is very, very healthy. She has an amazing, <laughs> an amazing personality. Right now, she's sniffing at me because I have a, a little bit of gloss on. And so she goes, you smell a little bit different. Anyways, she, I feed her good food and I give her the NRF2. Hey, say hello. Say hello. <laughs> so now let's look at dehydrated. Dehydration, as I mentioned before, is a condition. So you can have oily skin dehydrated, you can have dry and dehydrated, you can have normal and dehydrated, you can have acne and dehydrated, you can have comedones and dehydrated. So being a condition means that you are 
either overwashing your skin or you are not drinking enough water or you have candida or you're using wrong products or you're dehydrating because you have too much oils so you're using dehydrating products uh, a lot of people will uh, uh, use uh, uh, a lot of uh, acids overdoing it is not good for your skin so let's look at this individual here you can see that dehydration is major bumps. This individual in particular uh, had oily skin and then used a lot of dehydrating products. So it caused a surface dehydration, not allowing the oils or the sebum to come to the surface. Scrubs using certain acids, but being very careful like uh, BHAs. Um, HAs is not going to work on this individual. Uh, so there's a lot of things, but also not to overwash the skin. I have a tutorial on that. It doesn't matter if you have oily, dry, whatever, you wash your face only once. During the night, you are not going to get your skin dirty. But individuals say to me, but Maria, when I get up, I feel like all oily. Just splash warm water and then spray apple cider vinegar and the water, a 50-50 solution. Tap dry, put your moisturizer, and away you go. Okay, the next one, you can see uh, a lot of little bumps and the shiny part, that's the surface dehydration. Most likely this person um, washed his face too much and you can see also <laughs> the little bumps that is fungal acne. Here you can see the large pores. So she has oily skin and a lot of bumps, but the surface dehydration is what we will like to, uh, the main focus here right now. This individual needs to go through a cleanse, um, no milk, for a long time because milk is very inflammatory and nowadays we have so many different kinds of milk coconut almond soy so many that you do not need to have cow's milk okay if you have comedones and here we go here this individual here has surface dehydration and comedones Please do not use those vacuum things. <laughs> I have a tutorial on that. And individuals, after they use those vacuum things, they get bruises and they say, Maria, what should I do? Hmm. Anyways, uh, don't use that. However, those vacuum machines, they do have a purpose. Right? And uh, I will make a tutorial on that, but the main purpose is to stimulate the blood circulation do lymph drainage. So it is very good, but it does not, if you use it strong enough to pull out the blackhead, it will cause bruising. You can see the shiny on the surface. That is, she has normal skin, but the, uh, dehydrated on the surface. Okay. Oh, now here we go. I'm sure by now you can tell what this lady, young girl has. If she doesn't take care of her skin, uh, this will get worse. By her lips, this dry reddish lips and cracks on her side. And you also see the rash around her nose, blemishes. This young lady will need to drink lots of water, stop all the carbs because she has candida major, major candida, the dryness on her lips. Wow. Here, this individual has acne and surface dehydration. I would have to ask her more questions, but most likely she has a combination of uh, candida and acne. Dry, she had this one here has oily skin and surface dehydration. Has very oily skin, and she starts uh, washing her over washing her skin, and by over washing the skin, causing the surface dehydration. The, the uh, sebaceous glands in the skin will say, Oh my goodness, I have to produce more oils. So it is a losing battle between. Uh, <laughs> 
overwashing and the sebaceous glands and producing extra oils and uh, not doing a good job. So this person here, the last one, she will need to drink a little more water. Don't wash her face as often. And then what happens is that the body will start to regulate. I hope that you have had a good understanding of skin types. Are you dry with dehydration or just only dry? Are you oily or are you oily and dehydrated? Do you have fungal acne? Do you have acne and surface dehydration? So the main focus is water and diet. If you are more on the dry side, intake a lot of oily foods, but good oily foods, like olive oils, olive, avocado, uh, intake a salmon, good things, good foods. And stay away from processed foods and sugars and carbs that are not good for you. Now, yes, yeah, some carbs are good for you, but try to eat the good heart carbs, not the, the chips, uh, follow more maybe a potato or rice. Now, if you have fungal acne, be very careful for a period of time, you have to stay away from carbs. If you have an oily skin, find out what is your diet. Are you eating things that are, are stimulating more your oils? If you have acne, are you in taking a lot of foods that have a lot of, of uh, toxins? Okay, because remember the skin is an organ of elimination. So garbage in and garbage out. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. I have. I, I enjoy all the tutorials, especially the ones that are the requests, because I know that a lot of people are waiting, are waiting for this information. So if you have any questions, drop it down below. If you want me to create a tutorial for you, let me know and I'll be more than happy to do it for you. Again, this is Maria and I will talk with you very, very soon.